Today we will see how we can establish secure connections using client VPN in AWS. Today we will cover about what is client VPN, why is it needed, what is VPC, subnet and VPN and their interconnections. After that we will create VPC, subnet and EC2 instance and then create the certificates using easy VPN and then we will create the VPN and after that we will try to connect using open VPN client. In case you want to skip forward towards the lab, you can just move in the timeline. I will mention each of them in the chapters. So what is a client VPN? Client VPN is a service that allows secure connection between your user and the VPC network in AWS. Essentially, it extends your VPC to remote users, enabling them to access resources securely over the internet. So what are the advantages that we get from client VPN? These are secure connectivity, remote access and isolation and control. Let's connect the dots between VPC, subnet and VPN. Suppose you have created a VPC in your AWS. This virtual private cloud will have its own IP range and then you have several subnets inside that VPC and each of them have their own subnet range or IP range and then you create a VPN. So the IP range for VPN will be different from that of VPC. So whenever a user connects with the VPN, it gets an IP address from the VPN. So a new IP address from the VPN range will be assigned to the user. Now this user becomes an authorized user and it can connect to the VPC and access all the resources present in the subnet. So this is how the connections between VPN, subnet, VPC and the user will work. Now let's try the lab where we will first create the VPC then the subnet and then we will create the VPN and then we will see how a user with public IP address will connect to the VPN and then access the resources inside the VPC. First we will create the VPC. So you can choose VPC and more so this will create the subnet for you at the same time. Project CIDR block this one. Okay, you can set it to one availability zone and then public subnets zero, private subnet one. Create VPC. Click on view VPC. Now let's create the EC2 instance. So if I go to EC2, launch instance, test server, you want to, so I'll create a new pair for test key. Now I will select the new VPC that I just created. The subnet will be selected by default since there is only one subnet created and the public IP address will not be assigned. Here for the security group, a new security group will be created. Now I will leave all the default values and click on launch instance. Now our EC2 instance is ready. Let's try to create a VPN now. So this is the link of the documentation which we are going to follow. I will post this link in the description. Now for the first step we need to have the server and the client certificates. We will do that using this link mutual authentication. So with mutual authentication you will have a server and a client certificate. You will have to upload both the certificates on ACM AWS certificate manager and from there you can create the VPN. Now let's see how we can generate it. So for the generation, I am going to use Cloud Shell. You can even use the shell or the terminal from your system. So since this is the Linux based, I will copy the commands. Now I am inside the Easy RSA. So this, is a, so this easy RSA is an open source tool in which you can create a server and client certificate. 
now it is showing that the initiation is complete and we are ready to create the certificate now again uh, build ca pass this will create a new certificate authority it will ask me for some name so i will provide sony and then generate the server certificate and key just need to type yes and then we will build the client certificate yes then it is telling us to copy the certificates in our custom folder this is not essential but if you copy them uh, it will be easier for you to look what you have created and it will be easier for you to transfer it to acm Now when I check ls, it is showing me that these are the folders that we have created just now. Server certificate, server key, client and CA certificate. Now let's upload them to ACM. Uploading to ACM is easier from the cloud shell because you don't need to install AWS CLI and it already has your user credential. This means that you can just copy the command and paste it here. It will tell you that the certificate is uploaded and then the client certificate as well okay now if i go to my certificate manager i can check that there are two certificates imported meanwhile i will recommend to download the certificate and the client from this custom folder so you can use this download file for the time being, I will open this in a new browser tab. Now you have your certificates uploaded. Let's try to create a VPN. So here we can see that there are no client VPN endpoints. I'll click on create client VPN endpoints. So here I have to give a IP address range or CIDR block this should be different from your VPC range and as you can see that your block cannot be smaller than 22 which means I have to at least have 22 uh, this defines the number of IP addresses I am going to have in this particular IP address range if you want a bigger range you can reduce this number so certificate ARN for server certificate we have this one and since we are going to use mutual authentication we can select this one and for the client certificate we can choose this one client1.domain the logs and all you can enable if you want to here i will choose tcp and enable split tunnel so this is an important part if you do not enable the split tunnel this means all the traffic that the user is going to use will go through your VPN. Whenever he browses something on the internet, it will go through your VPN. This means you will be hosting each and every website out there. This will increase your AWS bill to a huge amount. This means whenever you create a VPN, always enable this uh, split tunnel, which means only the traffic required from that new VPC will go through your IP address, your VPN, but all the other traffic will be go through internet. Here in VPC, I will select the new one and in the security group, there is a new one, this launch wizard 2 and then create client VPN endpoint. So here, if you see the current state is pending associate now we have to associate the target network here you have to select the vpc and the subnet click on associate target network okay this is going to take some time for the authorization rule i will open the vpc again in a new tab and we will copy the ip range from there 
this is the IP range. We'll copy it from here and put it in the authorization rule. Okay, add authorization rule. Again, for route table, it is in creating. Now here you got a client configuration file. You need this file to connect with your VPN. So just download this file. Let me show you where the file is and how we can make changes in that. So this is the file downloaded. If I open it, Now we are at this point of step 7 and downloading the client VPN endpoint configuration file. We have done this. Let's copy these keys and we will use it in the file. So first I am checking the certificate and I will copy the contents of the certificate file from here. and paste it between these tags and then for the key file I will do the same thing now save the file and close it now let's set up open VPN client in a virtual machine So this is still associated. Okay, now it is done. So in my instances, I have two instances running. Uh, one is user server, which I am going to use to set up the client. And then this is our test server, which is there in the new VPC. I will try to connect this one using the SSH command from my local machine. Click on connect to copy the command. And I have this spam file previously. Now the reason I'm using this EC2 instance because it can be any general instance and it should be able to connect with your VPN. Okay, now I'm able to connect to my Ubuntu machine or the user server. I have also transferred the OVPN file here. Now let's see how you can set up OpenVPN client. So from the last one, you will see there's a client VPN user guide. And here you can uh, choose the Linux OpenVPN client. Okay, now let's install it. Okay, now I will install the OpenVPN. Now the command is sudo openvpn and the config file. Okay, let me clear the screen and I will uh, try to connect it. As you can see, the handshake is completed. And now when we check the VPN from here, we can see that there is a new connection. Now the user server is successfully connected to your VPN and now we will try to access the VPC or the EC2 instance. I will keep this hand check open and try to open a new terminal to access this machine. Now as you can see a new IPv4 address is assigned to this machine 20.2.0.2 which is from our VPN IP address range. Now I have also transferred the test key.pam file inside my Ubuntu user server. 
I have to provide it a permission ch mode 400 test keep but pen now I will try to connect it with the test server okay as you can see that without any public IP address of my test server I am still able to connect with my EC2 instance this is all because of the VPN that we have in between and in case you want to share the details to anyone you can just share this OVPN file and then using open VPN client they will be able to connect with your VPN and then access the resources available in the EC2 instance thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section thank you see you soon